let go with love and gratitude all difficulties have brought a lesson with them contemplate on what you learnt and use that knowledge so you won't repeat wasteful patterns again forgive yourself and everything and everyone Hello 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 welcome back to the feel good factor I'm Susmita Vignesoris and I'm so glad you could join me here today Hello happy happy new year <laughs> Oh I'm sure you can hear in my voice how much I enjoyed my break It was really nice. The last week of December between Christmas to New Year, I had a nice relaxing time. I didn't think about work or my website or podcast, though I did miss you. <laughs> That's always the case anyway. But I didn't think of any of that. I just let it all go. Didn't even touch my computer. I limited how much I got online on my phone also, and uh, it was really nice, a good, relaxing, refreshing experience. And of course, I had a lot of time to think about how I'd like to begin this year and the kind of things I'd like to do, what I'd like to create, and all those things. Yes, of course, that's a thought process that will keep going. but it was good to spend some time just considering all of it of how i would like to spend my life this year and how i would like my 2023 to feel for me i thought for today's episode i should read out an old newsletter to you this is something i had sent out to my feel good tribe a couple of years ago in january It was actually January of twenty twenty one, and we just finished twenty twenty, which was, as we all remember, a great year of upheavals. <laughs> so I was going through a couple of my older newsletters. Yes, I love them so much that I do go back and reread them. If you would also like to enjoy the delightfulness of my Feel Good Tribe newsletters, then join, sign up. You just go to my website www. veganosaurus. com v e g a n o s a u r u s. dot com slash newsletter. The link is in the show notes, and just sign on. I send a lot of um, conversational emails, stories from my life, with tips about life, business, veganism, spirituality, various things woven into these uh, stories, and of course there are updates about. content that i've created or uh, interesting books or articles that i'm reading and stuff like that usually my newsletters are sent once or twice a month and they are brimming with lots of value i just stuff them up with lots of interesting things so coming back to today's episode the reason i chose this particular newsletter the 2021 january newsletter Somehow I felt that message is something we all need to hear again now. Just something to contemplate upon, and uh, a lot of what I've shared then, I felt like it applies to my life now too. So I figured, hey, you know, it might do the same to you too. So here it goes. Now that twenty twenty is done and dusted. Are you all excited to start afresh for the new year? I totally am. I know, I know. The first of January is just another day, so why make a big deal of it? Every day brings you the opportunity to begin again with a clean slate. Actually, we can break that down further and agree that every minute offers a fresh start. At any single moment, all you have to do is take a deep breath and decide to move ahead with positivity. But there's still something magical about the big milestones, like the start of a brand new year. 
it's filled with the collective energy of hope from people across the globe when billions of people experience high vibe feelings together it's incredibly powerful now all we need to do is sustain that uplifted feeling easier said than done but possible it helps if we leave the past behind whatever held you back last year whatever is not conducive to your growth anymore let it go we're going to have a full moon in a few days so this waning moon cycle is the perfect time to cleanse your life of unwanted things situations people and energy let go with love and gratitude all difficulties have brought a lesson with them contemplate on what you learnt and use that knowledge so you won't repeat wasteful patterns again forgive yourself and everything and everyone i've let go of so much this past year if you'd like to hear about what i did let go of and how i managed to do it then listen to episode 49 of my podcast it's all about how to let go of uh, something you love anyway coming back to the newsletter i let go of something that was a huge part of my life for many many years many complicated bitter sweet emotions and thoughts were churned up of course the purpose of letting go is to make space for something new and considering half my life went away with whatever i let go of i can't wait for all the wonderful opportunities for creativity growth abundance and joy that this year is bringing into my life before i sign off i'd like to wish you all a fabulous year may you practice self love and realize your great worth may you feel deserving and loved may your year be filled with delightful surprises and many creative possibilities with love and light susmita so yeah that was my newsletter from a couple of years ago and i hope it resonated with you it made me think a lot about uh, what i did let go of last year though it wasn't as major as it was in 2020 last year also there was some amount of cleansing out in my life settling into new ways taking new paths learning new things and i can't wait to put all my learnings from 2022 into practice in 2023 and i'm also very excited about all the clearing that happened because uh, yeah like i said cleansing always creates space for something new something exciting so that's it it's a small episode this time but i'm thinking it's one which will have a huge impact contemplate on everything that i shared and if you'd like to get lots of introspective newsletters then sign up to the feel good tribe go to veganosaurus.com/newsletter and i'd love to see you inside the tribe oh yes and as soon as you subscribe you're going to get a welcome email hit reply to that and let me know what you feel about this episode have a wonderful 2023 and talk to you again next week bye thank you so much for listening to this episode of the feel good factor i'm susmita veganosaurus and i'm looking forward to talking to you again very soon bye